Keep calm and pray the Psalms. For Saturday, the last Saturday of the first week of Easter, tomorrow the second Sunday of Easter, we'll have a service of prayer and psalms and preaching called Matins, otherwise known as Morning Song. The doors will be open for worship 9 a.m. You're invited to come. Spring has sprung, it seems. Still some cool nights. But the year moves on. And so do we. Our reading for the second Sunday of Easter is about Doubting Thomas. I don't know why Thomas gets labeled Doubting. Because in the end he says, my God and my, my Lord and God, he believed. We don't ever talk about runaway Peter, who denies Jesus three times. We don't talk about all the disciples who left him. But the confession of Thomas is important for us. It's important for us when we are afraid of what other people might think, or we're afraid what the God would ask of us. Know that Christ died for you, as he died for Thomas. Be not doubting, but believe. And come. Come worship with us at 9 a.m. Sunday morning. The doors open. It will be a glorious day. It will be great to see you there. But it is Saturday. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, in the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night. The music of the lute and the harp and the melody of the lyre. For you, O oh Lord, made me glad by your work. The works of your hands I sing for joy. How great are your works, O oh Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know, the fool cannot understand this, that though the wicked sprout like grass and evildoers flourish, they are doomed for destruction forever. But you, O Lord, are high forever. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like the wild ox. You have poured over me fresh oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of the evil assailants. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They ever full of sap and green to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, 
You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. We humbly pray that we may live before you in righteousness and purity forever. The same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. With your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me. The evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Christ is risen, alleluia. He is risen indeed, alleluia. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Again, tomorrow, Sunday morning, know that you are welcome. Come and sing God's praises. Come and be with us and receive his gifts. You have a good night.